Hi, it's Anna. Welcome back to Books on the Go. A super quick video just to acknowledge it's Reconciliation Week in Australia. And this is a week where we pause to acknowledge the traditional owners of our land, which in my case in Adelaide is the Ghana people. And just focusing on reconciliation and we have National Sorry Day, uh, which was a couple of days ago. And I thought it was a good time to highlight, and this is one of the things that they have been doing, is recommending books to read. So I thought I'd highlight two, I only have two at the moment, books by Aboriginal Australian authors, which I know if you're interested in reading more Australian fiction or indeed non-fiction, um, this might be an area that you're interested in. These two that I've got are favourites of mine. So one is Too Much Lip by Melissa Lukashenko, which I absolutely loved last year and I've spoken about it already on the channel, but so much fun, great sense of humour, also touches on some dark subject matter and there's violence pervading the book but it is done with such masterful prose and energy and verve and colour that it's really a joy to read despite that subject matter. So it's about a woman who comes back to her hometown which is sort of northern New South Wales, southern Queensland. Yeah but Melissa Lukashenko is a, a guri author and uh, so it's her country and she encounters, so she is back with her family, which is dysfunctional, but really loves each other. But in they each have issues and problems, including alcohol and violence. And there's a land issue um, that they have to come to terms with and fight. And there's a man who comes onto the scene in her life. And it's really, really really well done. So I highly recommend it. I think it won the Miles Franklin Prize last year. I could be wrong, but yeah, Too Much Lip is fantastic. Another one on a, with, similar, uh, with a similar plot is The Yield by Tara June Winch, which is, I think it's long listed for this year's Miles Franklin Award and is probably a favourite. And I know lots of people have loved that one. I didn't love it as much, but Annie loved it on the podcast. She said it was her book of the year last year. So The Yield is another one that I would definitely say to give it a go. And another one is Tony Birch, Common People. So this is his collection of short stories and he just is really good at getting you straight into the story and writing these wonderful characters. That's common people, but his new novel is called The White Girl, and that is on my list. I don't have it with me, but that's just been long listed for the Miles Franklin Award as well. So that is one to look out for, White Girl or The White Girl by Tony Birch. And there's another one which I've completely forgotten the name of on my TBR, which I'll put in the notes below, but Annie recommended it. It's, a, I think, a poetry collection. And I have, I literally can't think of the author or the title, so I will put it in the notes, but that's on my TBR. So I just thought I'd do that very quick list for Reconciliation Week, and I hope you're all doing well. Let me know what you've been reading, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.